Spending time preparing data can make the analysis task easier. Cognos Analytics can help you prepare and extend your data with transforms, formatting, groups, and aggregation rules. In this video, you'll see how to clean and transform data, how to create navigation paths, how to use filters to limit data, how to create data groups, how to apply data formats, and how to create new data with aggregation rules. How to use a calculation to create new data is not covered in this video. You can watch how to add a calculation to a data module to see how that's done. The coffee sales zip file was downloaded from the IBM Accelerator catalog. It can be found by searching for coffee. The zip file contains sales receipt, customer, store, product, and calendar data as individual CSV files. Using the uploaded zip file, I created a data module. Split can be used to extract parts of dates and time fields. For example, split can be used with start date to extract the higher year. If there was a requirement that we show a person's last name in uppercase, this could be done easily using the clean function. Simple calculations can be used to create new data. If line item amount was not already in the sales receipt table, I could have calculated it using quantity and unit price. changing the operator to multiplication, and then giving the new calculated field and meaningful name. A navigation path is a collection of non-measure columns that a business user might associate for data exploration. A navigation path can be used in a dashboard or report to drill down on or back up to change the focus of analysis. For example, being able to follow a path from a city down to a store address. To create the navigation path, we're going to open Sales Outlet and drag City, Neighborhood, Store Address over and give the path a name. To see the store's navigation path in action, I created a bar chart with city and line item amount. Hovering over New York and right mouse clicking, I can select drill down. I now see the neighborhoods within New York. Selecting Manhattan, I have the options now of drilling down further to another level or drilling back up. When I hover over the level and right mouse click, I can use navigate to move directly to a specific level. And in this case, I'll see all store addresses for all neighborhoods. Filters can be used in a data module to limit data for specific use cases. To create a filter in dates for just weekend dates, I select day of the week, filter and select Saturday and Sunday. I can see that the filter is in place by expanding the members and seeing just Saturday and Sunday. I also see a filter icon appearing, letting me know that a filter has been defined. Filters can also be created for use in reports and visualizations. Clicking more, filter, the filter pane opens. Data groups are used to cluster data. By aggregating data into groups, analysis can start at a higher level, moving to finer detail. 
For example, positions can be put into executive, manager, and staff groups. Formats can be used to ensure consistent data representation. For example, I know unit price is a monetary measure, and I want it to always show two decimal places. I can select the format type of currency and apply two decimal places. The other thing I might want to do is provide a missing values character, and that's just going to help my eye pick out where data is missing when I'm looking at tables of data, for example. Formatting can be used to ensure consistent display. So for example, with dates, when they're coming from multiple files, they might have different formats. I can come down to start date, for example, and I'll, I'll apply a style I'll say I want the full. I'm going to use the slash as the separator. And I'm going to order it in month, day, year for my particular use. One thing to notice that the original date format doesn't change in the members, but I can see over in the grid, that's how it'll appear in any of my reports. Aggregation can be used to enable analysis. If I have an idea on the type of data analysis I'm going to do, I can create new data using aggregation. For example, selecting order, I can copy it, and then select the copy. And looking at its properties, first thing I can do is give it a new name still ensuring that it's a measure, but in this time, I'm going to count distinct. So now I can get a count of the orders out of my data. And in another example, I'm gonna take line item amount. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll copy it and paste it, select it, and in this case, give it a new name, and I'm gonna change the aggregation to average. I now have columns enabling me to do analysis on the number of orders by store, the total value of the orders at each store, and also the average value of the orders at a store. Documentation for IBM Cognos Analytics with Watson is available online. The video description below contains links for topics covered in this video. If you would like to try what was demonstrated in this video, you will find the data in the samples folder in Team Content.